Hello YouTube, my name is The Legend of Yes, and by God, has it been a while since I've made a video, roughly a over a month, I believe at this point in time will be over a month since my last video, and this is even being recorded over a month since my last video. Uh, anyway, I wanted to make videos back when I had my new, my computer back, since I have it, I'm back at it again, and what would you expect is again with Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and this time is about, again, uh, not again, last time, no, the last, last one was, a, let's talk about it, this one is a predictions video, this time for Echo Fighters, and going through the entire roster trying to figure out an Echo Fighter for every character, if I can think of one. I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to think of one for everyone, I, 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 I'm just gonna say right now, there is a crap ton of characters that I have no idea what to do or who should be their clone characters or Echo Fighters, I should say, because clones and Echoes are, are different things. Clone characters are characters basically that follow, in, in Smash Bros, they're characters that are going to be following the same archetype, but not the, or blueprint and not be an Echo Fighter. Look at all the, the links with, uh, or Dr. Mario and Mario, there are base, Dr. Mario will basically be a clone, quote unquote, a semi-clone, a semi-echo, where it's basically the same character with, behind having the same thing as the uh, Echo Fighters would have, which is variations, slight variations on priorities or how moves work, but having a different move set. For example, Mario and Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario now in his down uh, air, instead of being a s variation of the tornado, I believe that's Mario's one, Mario one, and I believe it was also Dr. Mario's in F Smash 4, instead of being a variation of the tornado or a small version of the tornado, is now a stomp for Dr. Mario instead of a tornado for Mario, and down B, down B for Mario being Flood, and the down B for Dr. Mario to be the down, not the down there, the Mario Tornado. So with that out of the way, let's discuss some of the other rules for this. Obviously there's a lot of characters that I won't be discussing or characters that I simply couldn't find a potential character for. And again, most characters that will be in this uh, talk about, it won't. I won't obviously include characters that already have an echo, so Peach, uh, Morph and Pit will not be included on this list. Already have already they already have one. The same thing for the already announced Echoes because they are Echoes. They won't be getting an Echo character, and also a lot of the characters that don't really need to because they already have characters that work similarly to them and have a variation already on them. It's obviously, more different in many cases, but the same thing can apply. So. Right off the bat, no, no new char no, no new characters, no um, Echo Fighters for Link, Toon Link, Young Link, Fox Wolf, and Falco. Also, other characters that I really couldn't think of. Obviously, there is uh, some characters I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that ground rule because there is a couple of characters that already have characters that are similar to them. But I'm gonna be putting in another character. But yeah, th those six are basically the only ones that disapply. Obviously, alongside the non Echo or the already announced Echo Fighters for the characters that I couldn't think of someone and most of these will be kept within their own series obviously there will be some variation in some of them but most of them will stay that way so let's get started let's start off with the first Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighter the first fighter in the Smash Brothers series Mario and for Mario yes we already have Dr. Mario that follows the same blueprint of Mario, but for Doctor for Mario, I think if we're gonna get a clone or an Echo, it could be Paper Mario. Genuinely, I think it's the only character that kind of makes sense to be a character for uh, Mr. Uh, the the plumber himself. It will be Paper Mario. I don't believe it will be, and it will be kind of sad if it was, uh, or even Paper Mario to be an Echo fighter. I, I think it will be kind of depressing. I think Dr. Mario can have its own original moveset. And there's characters out there that can have their own original movesets, but with the roster so big, I'm expecting... I don't know how many newcomers we're going to have, and Echoes are just going to be an easy way to fill the roster, so Paper Mario could uh, make it in. It would, it would not shock me. Now moving on to number two, or the second fighter in the Smash Brothers roster, it will be Donkey Kong. And for Donkey Kong, I think... Honestly, there's only one character that fits the mold, and that would be Funky Kong to be his um, double ganger, his Echo. It makes sense. He already plays a lot like him. 
He already has the same basic model with a few tweaks here and there. You tweak a few things here, again, obviously, like you're gonna do it with the other Echoes. It could have a different, obviously, idle animation. It could have maybe a variation of how some of these moves work. Maybe a completely different move. Um, I don't believe that would disqualify him from being an Echo. Or maybe even having his uh, surfboard uh, be a part of, a, of one move. Like, exactly, yeah. The the regular, is it the down B? Yeah, down B when Don Mar Dr. Mario, why was I going to say Dr. Mario? When Donkey Kong is, is that, a, that is not a stomp, that's just clapping, I guess, in a way. Um, or beating his hands, or like beating the drum. Instead of using like his hands, he could use a surfboard, that would be cool to see, I think. Obviously, next will be Link, and as we discussed, Link won't be getting any new characters for Samus. Uh, I think uh, this one, if Samus does in fact get one, is another one that's kind of a shame if it does become uh, an Echo, uh, because this character could totally be its own original character. It will be Dark Samus, I think. Like, If the variation between Echo and brand new character is so slim to be like two moves and how fast and strong the character is, and Dark Samus could easily become its own character, give her a different... Uh, down B, giving like her the spikes that she uses in as the assist trophy, and maybe a different up B, maybe a side B, and it could be its own original character. But let's not get into that. I think Dark Samus, it's one of the few characters we haven't seen as an assist trophy coming back. That's also another video I'll be making, missing in action. The characters have been missing as of right now. Then moving on, we get Yoshi, and for Yoshi, I honestly think that the if we're gonna get a Echo, I believe most people and a lot of people have discussed this. It would be Birdo. Birdo would be cool to see as a, as his um as a, as an Echo. Um, Birdo uh, most likely uh, not most likely. It fits kind of with the Daisy slot as well. So I think it'll be cool to see. Uh, then we have uh, Kirby, which I honestly couldn't think of one. Uh, and then obviously it's Fox, and like I said before, Fox, Wolf, and Falco won't be getting a character in this video then in or in or should they get an echo i think then we get to eight which is pikachu and pikachu is very interesting uh, we already have pichu and although pichu i don't think is going to get another character or another uh, an echo i think pikachu could have an echo in the shape of raichu we have a lolan raichu in the game already he has a pokemon a pokeball pokemon echoes are a thing I wouldn't be shocked if we saw uh, Raichu being in the game, maybe being a uh, heavier, because obviously he is a heavier, heavier, heavier bigger, slower Pikachu, uh, stronger as well, it would make sense, heavier, slower and stronger. Uh, it would be kind of like um, Ganondorf in Melee, that was what Ganondorf was in Melee 4, uh, Captain Falcon if I'm not mistaken, he was just basically Captain Falcon if he was um, slower but stronger, far stronger, so I think that way it could work. Then we get to Luigi and Luigi, much like Mario, I hope it doesn't happen, but it could. It will be Paper Luigi, and not much to say, like I said, it's basically the same thing I said about Doctor, not Doctor, Paper Mario. So moving on, we have Ness. Ness, I think, it's another character with like the same blueprint has already uh, been given to another character, but I think we're gonna get a third character that will be like that, that will be Ness's Echo, which will be Nintend from the first Mother game. Although the only problem for Nintend is that basically their models already look very similar. They're very similar already, the designs in the games, so might not be in. So, um, yeah, I don't, uh, it might happen, it might not, we don't know. Then for number 11, it's Captain Falcon, and I'll go back to what I've been, what I've said time and time and time and time and time and time again. It's probably going to be Black Shadow. Gengorf has changed enough where um, we can have a character that to fill his role and to fill his shoes and to basically be Ganondorf from Melee, you know, that could be a Black Shadow's um, repertoire. So then we have Jigglypuff, which I honestly couldn't think of one. Then we already have Peach and Daisy, they don't count. Four, number 14 will be the big bad himself, the king of Koopas, Bowser. And for Bowser, it, it can only be Dry Bowser if it does happen. Um, not much to say here. Dry Bowser would be cool. How would he implement be implemented? I think if he is in the game, it could be a faster, lighter, and maybe and weaker version 
of Bowser. It just makes sense, you know? Bowser obviously would be heavier because he also is still has all these... Uh, it's not just bones basically walking around. It would be neat to see, I'll be honest, the dry Bowser coming in. Then for number 15, and it's the first deviation from characters from the same series getting the spot. This could be Paper Mario and Paper Luigi um, as a duo characters. Obviously a few things would change, maybe instead of uh, ice, you have some fire attacks. That would be, I think, kind of cool to see for that. And it would be a cool duo. And um, it will be a fine combination, I think. I, I think it could work, honestly. Then we get to number 16, which is Sheik, and I think most people have already agreed that for Sheik, there's only going to be, if there is going to be a character to be in the game, to have her, or to be a, an echo of Sheik, is going to be, it's obviously going to be Impa from Skyward Sword. The Skyward Sword design, not the High Warrior design or Ocarina of Time, the, High, the, the Skyward Sword design, the Skyward Sword design is the one that most closely resembles uh, chic in a way, it's because that uh, Impa is very, the young Impa is very um, lean and it, 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 she also is a part of the fighting in the game, we see her and she's the one that feels more like um, uh, uh, chic or in terms of look and it makes perfect sense uh, for Sh for Impa to be in, she's a very highly requested character outside of the, 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 the characters that, were, that we already have in Smash Every, it's the only important character or reoccurring important character in the Zelda games that is not in Super Smash Bros. So Impa makes perfect sense. Then for Zelda number 17, I think there's one character. I was very iffy on putting this character in. But something recently discovered by Source Gaming or something published by, by Source Gaming made me change my opinion on this. Before uh, when... Um, Sakurai indirect, not Sakurai, but the translation made by Nintendo of America, and I believe Nintendo of Europe, was made a translation about Zelda's design. And they said that Zelda's design in, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was inspired by the uh, a Link Between Worlds, it was the Link Between Worlds design. Which, in a way, I was happy. In a way, it's cool. Zelda looks adorable, she looks like she, she's one of the best looking characters in this game and I think that's a, a, a agreed upon universally she is the, one of the characters that got the best redesign she's a she's this is a beautiful model they did a great job with it but before it was a link between worlds Zelda and when, once we look at every single character in Smash Brothers they're representing all basically all of the major Zelda games and all those major Zelda console games or Zelda timelines a link, a link, adult link, or classic link, represents Breath of the Wild and the classic uh, games, uh, Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 on the NES, by the virtue of like, one, obviously, the champion's tunic, and then the tunic of the wild to represent the old games. Then we have uh, Sheik, which is kind of a middle ground, I guess. Then we have Young Link to represent um, Majora's Mask, Ganondorf to represent Ocarina of Time, and finally, no, yeah, wait, yeah, then we, obviously the games that we're missing from the major games would be uh, Untoon Link to represent the Wind Waker and the Wind Waker timeline. So you basically here you already have the, the ma four of the major games, but for the while the originals, the original games, Ocarina, the N64 games, and the major, and the uh, N64, uh, the Wind Waker timeline. So out of these, the only ones missing, the, one, the only ones of the big Zelda games, the ones that come out of console or that have been very, very popular, the ones missing would be Twilight Princess, A Link to the Past, and, and Zelda obviously Link to the Past, A Link to the Past, and um, Skyward Sword. If uh, Twilight Princess can be completely fine being out of these, of these games, because since and uh, since uh, Brawl and up until Smash 4, it was only Twilight Princess representation, so we removed that. So Skyward Sword and may, you can say the Oracle games are missing alongside A Link to the Past. So with that and Impa being a character, A Link to the Past, uh, Skyward Sword is represented. You can say the Oracle games and the Minish Cap, but the Minish Cap is and the Four Swords are all basically. Four Swords and Minish Cap are basically Toon Link, and then the Oracle games could also be represented 
and Link, Link's Awakening be, be, could basically be represented as the classic Tunic of the Wild uh, set for Breath of the Wild uh, Link. But, like I said, Source Gaming recently published something that's very interesting. Sakurai doesn't actually mention a link to the a link between worlds as Zelda's design. Zelda is actually based on a link between a link to the past, meaning that instead of not having a, rep, uh, a link to the past in this possible move to, uh, um, list and uh, characters that I'm making video of this list of this list, link to the past of the Zelda characters was basically the only one left out. With the Impa in, we would have Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, The Wind Waker timeline, and most of the Game Boy and handheld games, uh, then the original, the classic games, and, uh, Jesus, and Breath of the Wild, with basically Twilight Princess and A Link to the Past missing, and I was going to make a character that was going to be represented, then this character I'm going to say as the Echo Fighter for Zelda, would represent a link between worlds, and the link between worlds would have two characters. But, Source Gaming again confirmed that the what Sakurai actually said in the direct was that Zelda represented or was designed from a link to the past. Meaning that now a link to the past has representation, but a link between worlds doesn't. So, for Zelda's Echo character, it should be Ilda, Hilda, 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 not Ilda, Hilda. Which makes a lot of sense, which would be cool to see. Um, she'll be a cool character in the game. And hey, it's already uh, practically model, uh, an easy model to make. It's She's pretty similar from what I remember to this Zelda and to Zelda in that game. Now you might say, isn't Hilda already a costume uh, for Zelda? I mean, you could say that, but she isn't. It's just a Zelda design or color palette swap that looks like Hilda. It's also good to remember, Mario has a Wario and Luigi skin. Luigi has a Wario skin, I believe. I don't believe it's just Wal Luigi skin, even if it's just Wal Luigi. Wario has a Mario skin, and multiple characters have designs and, and uh, costumes that bring forth or is to represent other characters. Peach is uh, most likely still has a orange um, uh, palette swap that's basically Daisy, and Daisy's in the game. So you know, uh, Fox. I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he still keeps his uh, uh, grayish um, fur as a costume that would make uh, a wolf costume. So wolf would, but wolf still is in the game. So I don't think that really, really matters. And Hilda would fit perfectly in uh, as an Echo Fighter for Zelda. Then for about the next nine characters, I don't actually have characters that I think could fit for each character, so uh, I'm just gonna go basically one by one. Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, Pichu, Falco, no, I'm not going one by one, I'm just gonna say it. Dr. Mario, Pichu, Falco, Young Link, Ganondorf, Mewtwo, Roy, and Mr. Game & Watch. I'm not expecting to get a Echo Fighter and Marth and Lucina. Marth already has one in Lucina and Lucina already has is one, so obviously she won't be getting another. Then we get to Meta Knight, which Meta Knight, I think if we're gonna get one, it's gonna be a variation of Meta Knight, and it probably will be Galacta Knight. Uh, I think that's the one that most people have been talking about. Then Pit, obviously already has one, and Dark Pit. Then Dark, P then Samus, I don't think we'll have a Zero Suit Samus or Wario, will be getting one. Then we get to Solid Snake, which would be very interesting. I think there's three possibilities for it. I think that one could be Big Boss, or older old snake, I think it's just called Big Boss. I, I don't believe it's called Old Snake. Then we have Raiden, which could also be. I know Raiden from Metal Gear Solid uh, Rising is a very different from uh, this uh, snake, but the one in, I believe, Twin Snakes? Is that the name of the game? Where Raiden, or Patri I forget, where Raiden makes his debut. I don't believe he's that much different from. Uh, Mr. Uh, Snake, so it could work. Or another one, uh, the third one, is again the second deviation from series or from IP, which would be an Advanced Wars character. And I know, an Advanced Wars character, that's never going to happen. But hey, I'm just throwing it out there. I remember uh, during the uh, Smash 4 days, people kind of expecting uh, Snake's moveset to come back through a character from uh, the Advanced Wars games. Then we reach uh, Ike. And Ike, I believe if he's going to have one, it's most likely going to be Chrome. 
Uh, I believe most people already have discussed this and it's already been thrown around on the internet. We haven't seen Robin's final smash, so it's no guarantee that he will be there. So we already have to take that as a possibility. Then for uh, uh, number 30, uh, 33, 34 and 35, which are the Pokemon trainers, Pokemon, Squirrel, Ivasaur and Charizard. I don't think we're going to get a Pokemon trainer echo character. I'm just going to be honest, I don't think Pokemon Trainer should be called Pokemon Trainer. I think it should be called Red or Trainer Red. It makes sense. Uh, trainer Red with Leaf, most maybe Trainer... Uh, it just makes sense because uh, because then again, if you, keep, if you call him just Pokemon Trainer, I don't think, or you give him a name, I don't think we can have a second Pokemon Trainer, which would be cool to have. Uh, you know, maybe a Gen, Gen 3, Gen 5, and as of right now, Gen 7. Are the only generations that are not represented in Smash Brothers, with Generation 2 barely being represented as it is with the Pikachu. Pichu. So maybe we could see a Pokemon Trainer 2 with an actual name. Uh, also, just gonna throw this out there: people got really excited about the female Pokemon Trainer, and that's fine. I'll keep saying I think that it should be Poke it should be Red and Leaf their names, not Pokemon Trainer or female Pokemon Trainer. But I have to ask: where's my boy Blue? Or everybody's boy blue. Where is he? Why is he not a skin too? Why can't he be a skin too? Come on, you cannot have basically the, the the two main characters from Pokemon from Generation One, which would be red and green. I believe that's her her name. I called her Leaf throughout this video before. I believe her name, official name, could be green. I, th I think that that design is from Leaf uh, f uh, Leaf Green, uh, so maybe it doesn't count. But I don't know. That's just me throwing it out there. Also, when it came to actually thinking of uh, characters for to rep to be Echo Fighters for Pokemon Trainer, it's a little weird because for Squirtle, I think like almost every single starter water starter could be in. Uh, as Pip Lop, uh, Mudkip would be only the only one that to not fit as well. But like Pip Lop, Totodile, uh, Oshawott, uh, oh no, uh, Popplio could not fit it as well. And I'm forgetting the name of the one from uh, Generation 6. Huh. I'm f give I'm getting a complete... Oh, Froakie. Yeah, no. Couldn't f uh, could all fit. Um, then for Ivysaur, I could only think of actually Bayleaf. I don't think any other Pokemon would fit. And for Charizard, I could think of no one. The closest thing I got was Dragonite. Uh, is the only Pokemon that I think has kind of the same type of body. You know, except with smaller wings. And moving on, to not ramble too much on that, we get to Diddy Kong, which I believe, if we're go he's gonna get one, is gonna be Dixie. I just hope that if it is Dixie, uh, she has at the very least a different up B, because, or, or she could actually glide a little bit, but just glide down, because it, it wouldn't make much sense if she could not use her tail, or her tail, her ponytail, uh, I also believe that his jab now does not include his tail, which means that maybe they can make it uh, so that uh, there's not much devi deviation on that for Dixie. Uh, but again, if she is in, I hope that she gets at the very least a small, uh, small differences and tweaks because if that uh, enough to keep her as an echo. Although some characters, the definition of echo could very much be uh, shrinked down uh, or make so that characters that could have been considered Echoes in the past be more like Ganondorf, more Ganondorfs, you know, than Dr. Mario's because Ganondorf now you can actually say like all of his smashes are different that's why he's not an Echo Fighter and Dr. Mario's like, oh, he has a different uh, down air and a different uh, down B also, what's the difference between Pichu and Pikachu is that Pichu can hurt himself and they, they have a different air or neutral air so I don't know but moving on 37 is Lucas I don't think Lucas will get one if he does it probably be uh, it will be the NES one with, uh, which would be Nintendo for Sonic it it's probably gonna be Shadow at this point in time Shadow is also missing as an assist trophy and Knuckles has already been revealed as an assist trophy kind of seems a little bit weird if he is in fact an assist trophy it would be interesting to uh, not a trophy a, a clone an echo it would be interesting to see what difference could he make could he have because like the running animation probably will be different his up b should be different 
you know, instead of uh, uh, the spring, it should just be, you know, like a um, uh, uh, teleportation thing because of chaos control could be it. So it would be interesting to see. Then we re we have some more characters that I can't figure out for the life of me. Uh, characters that could be a part of them. So King DDD, Lucario, Rob, Toon Link. Uh, uh, no, King DDD, Lucario, and Rob. I couldn't think of one. Toon Link and Wolf Link already have so many characters with they the same uh, archetype or prototype and blueprint as they do. It makes no sense for them to be in. Then Olimar, the only character that could be an Echo would be Alf, but we already seen the Alf. The Alf it will be a costume, so not him. Then we reach uh, 45, which would be Villager and. It's probably going to be uh, Isabel. We already people are already discussing the possibility of Isabel in the game. Everybody was talking about it. Well, not everybody. A lot of people were talking about it. I myself believe I made a video even saying like I don't want to hit her. Uh, I don't want to hit Isabel. I'll be feel I'll feel super bad for hitting Isabel. But that she could be an Echo or, or at the time a clone because I didn't really see another move set being created just for her. So hey. With Echoes being introduced, I think she's one of the most likely ones. And for uh, which 46, character number 46 would be Mega Man. Mega Man, uh, I think it's going to be Zero, although I hope it isn't. Uh, I hope if Zero would make it into Smash, he would have a different moveset. But, and the reason I say Zero, I think it's almost a guarantee that will be in the game, is mostly because of Mega Man's final Smash. We have seen it, unlike Robin and Chrom. Uh, we uh, with yeah Robin with the Chrom situation. We have seen Mega Man's Final Smash. We know what it is, and they didn't change the the the, the Final Smash Final Smash too much, but they did add Meg, uh, Proto Man and Base. Proto Man and Base, fine. But where was Zero? And you could say, oh, but because Zero comes from a different time period. But I'm like, wasn't Base also created during the X series or after the X series and not for the classic series? Maybe I'm wrong, but like, still, Zero should have been in that final smash. The fact that he isn't kind of leaves the door open, in my opinion, for a new playable uh, character. Uh, for Zero, then, we move on for 47 in Wii Fit Trainer and 48 Rosalina. I really couldn't think of anyone for them. Then we reach um, number, f number 49, which is... Little Mac, and I forgot uh, something, let me just check that something. Okay, so I'm back from searching what I went to search. I couldn't for a while for me remember who, I, who the name of the character, one of the characters I'm going to be saying. For Little Mac, I think we can get three characters, possibly three echoes for him. Three characters that would be bigger, stronger, uh, and uh, slower than him, and maybe with better uh, game on the air, which would be Mr. Sandman. Macho Man or uh, King Hippo, I think all these three could fit very well and would be interesting to see. Uh, then we move on to Greninja, I don't think, I couldn't think of one. Same thing for all three Mii Fighters. Uh, for Palutena, I think if we're gonna get one, it probably probably will be Veridi. I don't know much about the Kid Icarus series, so apologies if uh, that makes no sense for Veridi to be the uh, Echo Fighter, but I think it has a possibility. Then we have Pac-Man. I think this one, this one is the easiest one. I believe most people have already um, figured it out. Most people will be saying if they get if he gets an Echo, we already know who it's going to be. And if it is, uh, it's someone that we, were, we already were questioning why this character wasn't in Smash 4 as a costume, which would be Miss Pac-Man. It's such an obvious one and such an easy one that um, it's weird that we didn't have. Now, I'm going to say this, both Robin and Shulk will be having slights, will be having spoilers. In the case of Robin, not so much because it's now being practically, it's been advertised in, in the goddamn Fire Emblem Heroes game that this, what happens to what I'm about to say, but for uh, Shulk, there won't, I don't believe it has. So, move on to the title on screen to when I talk about, and I'm gonna say right now, to when I talk about Ryu, because I couldn't think of one for Bowser Jr. because of all the possible echoes, already are costumes, and for Duck Hunt. So, obviously the next one will be, who we can't, will be Ryu. So when I talk about Ryu, and I kinda already spoiled who I'm gonna be saying for Ryu, uh, the timestamp will be on screen right now. So, for Robin, 
and Shulk. I'm going to give you guys three seconds at the count of go, I guess, or three or two, one, I don't know, counting down from three uh, to skip ahead. So in three, two, one, for Robin, I believe that the uh, clone or Echo will be a, a version of Robin that will be faster than him. Oh no, maybe make Robin faster and a little bit weaker, but this character stronger, slower, and with the, the blades and the swords being more damn or lasting uh, f uh, less time. That should be the mechanic. Maybe, yeah, maybe that should be the mechanic. It's the same character except the tomes do much and the sword does much more damage, but it takes a lot more. And it's obviously going to be Grima. It makes sense. Grima already, it, it's Robin. So it's basically already an Echo. Uh, I would find it really cool if the Echo Fighter for Robin would be... Oh! Robin is the default avatar is the male one. But for Grima, the default one would be the female. Although I believe the male Grima version is also the more popular one or the the, the, the first one to come out in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. So maybe. And for... Shulk, by the way, again, on the screen right now, the moment for when I was dis discussing Ryu's Echo, because if you don't want to spoil spoilers for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or Xenoblade Chronicles 1, uh, so I'm going to give you again to count of 3, so 3, 2, 1, it is for uh, Shulk, there's two possibilities in my opinion, one is literally just Shulk and would be Shulk possessed by Zenza, or Zenza's true form, technically speaking, if you see the end of that game. It's Zenza is basically Shulk reincarnated. Shulk very different, with solid differences between the two. And obviously the other one will be Malos. I think the difference could be that it's basically the same character, but with slight difference to the Manado Arts or different Manado Arts altogether. Maybe like instead of Buster, uh, Malos could have Eater. Maybe instead of um, Jump or Shield. Uh, Zanza could have Cyclone. It's a very interesting thing to think about and to ponder. So, welcome back to everybody that skipped to this part in the video. I want to talk about Ryu. I think Ryu is an obvious one. It's probably going to be Kent if he does get an Echo. Uh, personally, Kent would not be my first pick for a character uh, from Street Fighter. I would pick uh, Bison, Giles, uh, Cammy and um, Chun Li before I would choose Ken. And heck, I would even put uh, Poison in front of all of these because she or he, I don't know, at this point in time, could represent both Street Fighter and Final Fight, which would be an interesting correlation. I think that would be um, a, a, an interesting dynamic. Then we reach Cloud. I don't think anyone could because of the limit break, and I don't think I don't I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if the limit break is a thing in other um, games. But if he's gonna get a, an Echo, it probably will be a another Final Fantasy main character. I really don't know much about Final Fantasy. Then I couldn't think of anyone for, and I'm gonna be completely honest, for both Corrin and Ridley, so those two are out of the way. So we reach the final two, Bayonetta and the Inklings. For Bayonetta, I think it's obvious, and I think most people already have thought about this, with uh, uh, Rodan being an assist trophy it just makes sense for Jean to be the echo fighter Jean would probably f would play very similar to her now how how would be their difference be I don't know exactly not too sure I don't even know much about their differences in um, the Bayonetta games uh, while playing with Jean I noticed very very little differences between her and, and Bayonetta, so I can't really say. Another character that could be, and this is a small, small spoiler for Bayonetta, and even if it is a big spoiler, uh, it's not like you know who it is. It would be uh, Rosa. Uh, I'm not gonna say who 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 Rosa is in in the games, but she could uh, she could be a character. And if you heard the slapping noise, there was just me killing a spider that just weirdly walked in or appeared in my arm. Okay. And obviously, for the final character, for number 64, for the Inklings, it would be the Octoling. It just makes sense for the Octoling to be 
a clone, an echo fighter. I don't think it should be an echo. I, sh I think that like uh, the inkling are so much, so uh, based on um, the, um, they're so based on Splatoon 1 that the Octolinks could very well represent Splatoon 2. It could be interesting, but I also believe that they will be an echo fighter, which in a way it's kind of sad, but still, that was it. That was all the characters that I think could be Echo Fighters and for who they could be. Also, this was a this was a, wow, this is a long video. Uh, even with the taking out the intermission where I had to go drink something. Uh, anyway, tell me in the comment sessions who do you think will be the Echo Fighters? Especially, could you think of Echo Fighters for the characters that I didn't say? I try to keep it mostly for characters within the franchise they came from. Uh, but even may maybe there are characters that would fit in uh, as Echo Fighters for certain characters from other franchises. Uh, another thing, these are not all the Echo Fighters I'm expecting. If all these characters come to fruition as Echo Fighters, some of them obviously I don't think it will, like the Paper Mario and Paper Luigi. But there are characters out there that could be Echo Fighters for brand new characters that we haven't seen yet. I honestly only can think of one, truly. Uh, but yeah. Tell me in the comments section all that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I've been the Legend of the S. Uh, regular scheduled updates will be coming back soon. Most likely in the upcoming week. So thank you guys for watching. I've been the Legend of the S. And I'll see you guys next time.